Good morning. Welcome to day two of my Black Sea Oil Master Guide book reading series. Today we're going to have a look at cancer and see how or if uh, the fabulous black seed oil helps any kind of cancers really. Let's have a look and see. Chapter 5, Cancer. Thymoquinone, which is one of the volatile aspects of uh, volatile oil, oils in black seed oil, modulates nine of the ten hallmarks of cancer. And that came from a research paper called Thymoquinone, 50 Years of Success in the Battle Against Cancer Models. You see where I'm going with this. There are many research studies that show great results for black seed oil treatments related to its cancer killing and anti-inflammatory properties. What is cancer? Well, of course, that depends on what type of cancer we are talking about. In its most basic explanation, cancer is cells gone wrong, the cause of which is most often not discovered. There are benign cancers and malignant cancers. It's the latter you have to worry about. The research. There have been many studies that have shown the effects of nigella sativa on many different cancers, and I will quote just a few of them here. The full list of research studies that I found is included at the end of the chapter. This list is very long. Even doctors are now urging more research into thymoquinone, TQ, the main constituent in black seed oil, for adjuvants to pharmaceutical cancer treatments. What the scientists are looking to discover are the exact signaling pathways that help that helped black human seed oil play such a big role in killing cancer. Many pathways to healing. The anti-cancer effects <coughs> of thymoquinone are mediated through different modes of action, including anti-proliferation, apoptosis induction, cell cycle arrest, ROS generation, and anti-metastasis slash anti-angiogenesis. In addition, this quinone was found to exhibit anti-cancer activity through the modulation of multiple molecular targets. Thymoquinone is an active ingredient isolated from nigella sativa and has been investigated for its antioxidant, anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer activities in both vitro and vivo models since its first extraction in the 1960s. Its antioxidant anti-inflammatory effect has been reported in various disease models including encephalomyelitis, diabetes, asthma and carcinogenesis. In addition, thymoquinone <coughs> could act as a free radical and superoxide radical scavenger as well as preserving the activity of various antioxidant enzymes such as catalase, glutathione, Thion. <laughs> These get very tricky. You'll need to see the text of it. More amazing cancer research with black seed oil. And here's a quote. As non-invasive lesions progress to malignancy, the precursor period provides a window for cancer therapies that can interfere with neoplastic progression. Thymoquinone, a major bioactive component of essential oil from Nigella sativa seeds, has demonstrated antineoplastic activities in multiple cancers. I have another quote here, and yes, the words are getting a little tricky. <laughs> They're much easier to write than uh, pronounce. A cell study conducted at the International Immunobiology Research Laboratory in South Carolina showed that when incubated with nigella extract, cancer cells were unable to produce fibroblast growth factor and the protein cholangenase. Both are necessary for blood vessel growth into the tumour. Without a blood supply, a tumour cannot grow. <coughs> and another quote. Thymoquinone blocked angiogenesis in vitro and in vivo, prevented tumor angiogenesis 
in a xenograft human prostate cancer model in mouse and inhibited human prostate tumor growth at low dosage with almost no chemotoxic side effects. Overall, our results indicate that thymoquinone inhibits tumor angiogenesis and tumor growth and could be used as a potential drug candidate for cancer therapy. In fact, thymoquinone suppresses growth and invasion and induces apoptosis of glial tumor cells by degrading tubulins and inhibiting 2OS proteasome telomerase. Oh, I'm not going to keep dancing those. Hang on a second. <clears throat> a simple and easily available agent may be a promising adjunctive, adjunctive treatment option in neurological and neurosurgical practice. <coughs> And another quote from the International Journal of Oncology. We find a study that tells us thymoquinone extracted from black seed triggers apoptic cell death in human colorectal cancer cells with a P53 dependent mechanism. They also had this to say. These results indicate that TQ is antineoplastic and pro-apoptotic against colon cancer cell line HCT116. The apoptotic, apoptotic effects of TQ are modulated by the BCL2 protein and are linked to and dependent on P53. Our data support the potential for using the agent TQ for the treatment of colon cancer. This goes on and on and on, and there's so many words I can't really pronounce. <clears throat> From a 2003 study, we find that thymoquinone inhibits autophagy and induces cathepsin mediated caspase independent cell death in glioblastoma cells. Which is more cancer killing evidence? I have all the references in the back here. And when I go to the end of this chapter, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, no, two, four, six, eight. There's eight pages of references in here. I don't know how much you can see, but there are eight pages of references <coughs> for black seed oil uh, research concerning all different kinds of cancers. In fact, I've got a list of them in the back. Second. In a review study, the researchers have offered up 57 reviewed research papers on this subject and found black cumin to be effective against these cancers. Blood cancer, breast cancer, colon cancer, pancreatic cancer, hepatic cancer, lung cancer, leukemia, skin cancer, fibrosarcoma, renal cancer, prostate cancer, and cervical cancer. And yes, the reference is there for that too. It also offers protection potential protection against radiotherapy if you've already got cancer and you decided to do that as a uh, treatment. In the 2009, in a study of 60 rats, it was found that our results strongly, strongly recommend Nigella sativa oil as a promising natural radioprotective agent against immunosuppressive and oxidative effects of ionizing radiation. So yes, I think cancer can be added to the list of things that black seed oil can help with, as per the research that I found. So, if you'd like to know about all the ailments that I found uh, promising research with concerning black seed oil, um, please go on over to the link that I'll put on this page for you and get into my email group and I will send you along the cheat sheet which lists all the ailments that I found research for. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a fab day.